What is up YouTube? Luca here with another PvE build for the High Isle. I'm on my Stamina Warden with Coral Riptide on the body. The strongest Stamina set or probably even in general the strongest set in this patch. With 740 weapon spell damage. The only condition we have to drain our Stamina but only at 33%, not like Barzai's. Then one Scoria, thanks to penetration. Killed a smithic item and Kinras on the front bar with two daggers, non charge, flame, and poison damage. Full bloodthirsty on the jewelry and backed by the Marsum Greatsword in infused with the Berserker Glyph. Skills front bar fetch and faction, deed slightly more damage than the stamina morph, sub trading assault. Cutting Dive, a powerful spammable which also stacks in the off balance phase. I will talk about that in the rotation afterwards. Then Daddy Cloak for Mage Evasion and a strong AoE dot. Barb Trap for Minor Force. Wild Guardian, our Bear Ultimate which we have to slot on both bars. Stampede, Calf, Bull Nedge just for sustain. Our flex spot, you can also put bigger if you want. Winter's Revenge, super powerful AoE dot and degeneration as single target dot. Ray Stammer, best in slot, followed by Khajiit. Mundus, the thief, facts of crit rate, Lava Food Soup as buff food, 64 points in stamina. Potions, the normal weapon power potions with savagery, brutality, and stamina. CPs, deadly aim, biting aura, master at arms, and raw full strikes. We don't need to backstab on wardens. We have more than enough crit damage thanks to one passive called Glacial Presence. It gives 10% extra crit damage if the target is chilled. Chilled is kinda easy to proc with Winter's Revenge or even with a Frost Damage Enchant. Then Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Fortified Bounders Vitality and Celerity. There is one small change in Warden which makes him even more powerful than before. North on Storm, it gives North 300 weapon spell damage for 30 seconds. Which means we can just pre-buff ourselves with North on Storm and then swap back to Wild Garden after we did it. For example, with an add-on like Slender. Let me show you real quick. Pre-buff with Northern Storm like this, and then swap back to Wild Guardian. It's like, and you still have the 300 weapon and spell damage bonus buff. Alternative sets, instead of Core Riptide, you can still use Reliquin, or the new Light Armor set, the World of Deaths, which is a good synergy on Warden, thanks to the passive Piercing Coat, which increase our frost damage by 10%. As Monster said, with Fur of Deaths, it's probably Slimecore better. We will have more than enough uh, penetration with Fur of Deaths. Instead of Killed, you can use the new mythic item, Moor's Whispers on the shoulder, which gives a little bit more crit rate, but you will lose the 10% crit damage, which means you would probably have to sort backstabber then. Instead of Kinnas, Advanced Neokida is probably slightly better, or Zokrin for some situations, also possible. And instead of the Mansum Greatsword, you could even go with the Black Cross Prison Daggers. In Raids, if you already have access to Major Brutality, you can de-slot Bullnetch for Camouflage Hunter and Fetch Infection on the back bar for degeneration, for camouflage hunter even here, for minor berserk and major savagery, so we don't need to use the weapon power potions, we could use the minor heroism potions, which means we can use white garden more often enough for more damage. Time for the rotation. Before you start, drain your stamina as low as possible with high cost skills like rapid maneuver. Then chant acceleration followed by Northern Storm, swap afterwards to Wild Guardian and summon the Bear Ultimate, followed by Bonnage and Daddy Cloak. Start your rotation with Supper Sword, use Stampede into Calf, Winter's Revenge and Degeneration, 
bar swap and spam cutting dive twice as long as the target is off balanced. Recast supper sword with the last dot fetcher infection. There are two different rotation types. The first one is more powerful but requires an off balance tracker like Srenda. The second one is more comfortable with less damage. For the more damage rotation, we need to spam cutting dive as often as possible if the target is off balanced to proc the second effect of it, which deals extra bleed dot damage, and it stacks too. Off balance duration is 7 seconds and has a cooldown of 22 seconds. So our goal is to spam cutting dive in those 7 seconds without losing too many dots. I usually try to recast my dots shortly before the off balance phase. So let's say you have more or less 5 seconds before the target will get off balance again. Use this time window to reapply your dots, especially your strongest one. It's a matter of timing. Then use supper sword every 6 to 7 seconds, white guardian on cooldown and recast your dots with cutting dive as spammable. If this rotation is too complicated, then just skip the off balance phase and use a more common rotation, without spamming cutting dive into 7 seconds. DPS wise, you will lose 4 to 5k DPS. If something is unclear, type your questions down below, I will try to answer them as fast as possible. I will leave you here, thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. For something to let it go to waste with everything at stake. Mm -hmm. I thought I would take it up.